Yo, what's good everyone? It is Chase XC here, and today we are back for our second National Plays Association NPA Season 6 Draft Analysis for the team as you can see on your screen for the Santa Monica Manaphys. And I'm not alone today. There's like actually two other people, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and talk to the coach of the Manaphys, Bing. You can go ahead, man. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Frost. Yeah, we've got Frostfire here. Uh, some of you might be familiar with him uh, as he's like everywhere, but who cares? But other than that, we'll go right into the job. But before that, we're going to ask him a few questions about himself, trying to get to get to know him a little better. And uh, we'll go from the draft from there and let him explain everything. But first up, like every other Pokemon trainer in this whole entire world, we had uh, we all had a start. So when was the first time you started playing Pokemon? Um, I started around Diamond and Pearl when it first came out. Diamond and I Pearl? I got, I got my first DS Christmas time. Yeah, it came out Christmas time and I got both Diamond and Pearl. And, yeah, I you played got both. <laughs> from there. Dang, this man, you might be freaking rich because I don't get two games at once. I mean, I was like six. Dang, that's so. interesting because most post most Pokemon players that I've asked this mainly say like, like the latest would have to be like Gen three, like Ruby Sapphire or Leaf Green. I haven't really heard yeah. anyone say Diamond and Pearl, but I just barely missed the cut. Barely for that. missed. Like, I watched, I watched the um, Gen three anime, but mm -hmm. I never got a Game Boy. Oh, I mean the Game Boy was like, Game Boy was like the OG. That's like when it all started for everyone. Yeah. All right, interesting, well, I got interesting. The DS. I'm all right. Well, see, mine was leaf green, so I mean, I'm kind of a generation ahead. But you're kind of ahead of me on this next one. When did you start playing competitive battling? Um, boy, that has to be, I want to say, spring of 2020, 2015. Uh, this boy got I freaking think. dates, Ren. <laughs> you got, you're like just. I you're... Say... Yeah, it was about then. Oh, nice. Uh, Alright, so that was like, what, two years ago? Oh, yeah, God. over there. So when was that, like, when I X and Y came out? I battles, and then I learned the sets from there, and then I kind of applied them to OU and stuff, and I was watching, like, Shady and, yeah, Poketubers Dude, battling. Shady was when it started for me. Dude, that's great. Well, was well, that was, like, when X and Y came out, right? Uh, no, that was no, Oros. Like, Oros? Oh, dang. How, X and Y's been old, yeah. that old already? Dang, yeah, dude. Like, that's crazy. Really, really old now. Alright, that's cool. So, after getting a little into competitive, when did you start playing League? Um. Forever to start playing League. I. Like, I followed the GBA a ton. Oh, and dang. I kept wanting to join it. But, um, I kept wanting to join, like, a GBA League like that. But, I think my first time was around. Uh, I think it was, like, November. October maybe late maybe uh, late October like last but year. I joined the league. It was ran. I'm not kidding. By a ten year old, like a literal ten year old. <laughs> you were uh, ten. We didn't know at the time. We didn't know at the time. But um, after the draft, we saw his video, and he was literally like ten. Oh Jesus. And it, it died after like week three, but then I started meeting people, and I started doing more leagues, and yeah. Ooh, so you kind of cut your start from there. See, unlike me, I did trash when I started. <laughs> but, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Dang. So you went from random battles to straight leagues. And you were just get kind of natural yeah. at it, I guess. My first league match was um against the owner, actually, the 10-year-old. And I 6 0 him. <gasps> what? <laughs> I know. You, you 6 0 the like, owner? He had like Mega Charizard Y, he had like Sharpedo, Mamoswine. Oh, that's and that's OP. Mamoswine's busted. And he, ran like, he ran like Iron Head. He was literally just clicking moves on his Pokemon and putting random APs. It was the funniest shit ever. So he ne so he was he didn't have that competitive mindset? No, no, he was like a ten year old. Ooh, that reminds me of some certain person. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Alright, so we're not gonna. So this next question refers to draft, but don't spoil anything about it. This is mainly how you feel about it. Is how do you feel about your draft for the most part? Um, overall, I think I really like it. I think I like what I drafted. I'm familiar with most mons, and I think I can put in some good work with them. All right. So 
when you went into this draft, what was your kind of like your mindset plan? Were you kind of going like straight offensive or like really a lot of bulky um, mons? Well, with our tier changes, I knew I wanted some Pokemon that are like kind of discount, I guess. So I had my eye on some Pokemon, but um, there was nothing that like really I was looking to go for like uh, hyper offense or balance or anything. Just kind of went with what I picked. All right, all right. So you're kind of free will, but you know you're going with mods yeah. you were familiar with. Uh, all right, not bad, not bad. All right, so, um, well, you kind of already answered the next question on on how it turned out, but, and then five will skip out, and then yeah, we're gonna skip that out, and yeah. So, do you have any predictions for this season? Like any kind of predictions, like your score or like, like on your performance. Um. I'm actually see how many how many weeks do we play? We, we play, play nine. Nine weeks. Um, I'm gonna try and go with six and three. Six and three? That's actually mine. Not bad, not bad. All right, that's a good little score because everyone wants to go positive but still make playoffs. All right, I see yeah, you, boy. I, I kind of like that because it gives me some like reliability to lose a little bit, but at the same time. All right. Like, not so seeing that you were going six and three, that score would most likely take you to playoffs, which takes us to our next question. So since there's only ten of us, uh, I'm pretty sure that only four of us go to playoffs. So assuming that you do go to playoffs, who would you expect the other three to be with? To other three to be? Um, I would expect with no like no disrespect to anyone. Yeah, no disrespect, of course. Um, you. All right. Uh, I don't know many of the other players. And I'm not really gonna look at rosters alone. Um, maybe like Brent and Evan. All right. Oh, sorry. All the ones you're familiar. Right, I I can I can understand. That. I can understand that. Like I don't really know how anyone else's battling skills are. So yeah, it makes sense. Like, I mean, it makes sense. Makes sense. What I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> say Cam. All right. <laughs> All right. So as we're going into that. Is there anyone in this league in particular that you would want to battle? Like the person that you want to battle the most and like... I just... want to beat down Brent. <laughs> now that he doesn't have uh, Mega Metagross, which is like busted as hell. He didn't cheat his own league. <laughs> so, um, I want to beat him down. Oh dang. I, dude, let's look. I'm going to look at the schedule real quick. Cause, um... Alright, I'm about to look this up. Frost yeah. versus Brent. You battle him week three. Ooh. Ooh. Rip I'm Brent. Boy. Rip. <laughs> he said fight you. <laughs> not even bad. All right. All right. We'll get into the next question. We're not going to make any scenes. But uh, is there anyone that you don't really want to like battle against? Like I know you don't know much of these people. But like if you want to like um, if you could answer that. Um... I mean, if there is no one, then that's fine. Like, not really. I mean, I don't know any of these people, and I'm not really gonna look at all the rosters. But there are some fat teams, like um, Cam. His team was pretty fat. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Cam's Cam's team is pretty insane. That, where is it? That Gudra, uh, Katoga Kiss, Slowbro, Moongus hit him on top. Yeah, this is really bulky. With Milsink, that's fat as hell. <laughs> Oh Jesus! All right, so you kind of already answered this one, but uh, we'll go right into it. We'll come back to some of the ones that uh, I'll ask you later, but we will jump right into the next scene and uh, we'll get right into the picks. So going into the drafts, you just kind of said your free will, and you like we're kind of going with mods yeah. you're familiar with. But uh, I had my what Pokemon? I would say about three mods. Three mods? Did you get those mods? Um, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. All right, so let's we're gonna go from tier one all the way down to Z move user. But yeah, let's start off with the tier one mon that you chose, being. Who'd you choose, Hello? boy? Okay, wait. Discord just really lagged out. Huh? What? What do you say? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Discord. Totally we're gonna go from out. tier one to Z move user. Who was your tier one pick? Oh. Um, my tier one pick was Celestia. Why'd you go with this monster? <laughs> um, just because, well, I think it also goes with well my tier 2 pick, which I picked first. But, um, I really like Celesteela. It has a great ability, obviously, in Beast Boost. And it has a wide range of coverage with, like, things like Air Slash, Earthquake, Energy Ball, Fire Blast, uh, Heavy Slam, Flash Cannon, 
Giga Drain even, Leech Seed, Toxic. It can be basically anything I want with its stats too, which yeah. I really like. Its stats are pretty much it, all, like, all wrong good. Look at its stats. It just can be basically, and if it, it can even be a fast sweeper if you have been autonomized. True, true. So this thing's just really threatening. It basically can be anything I want to, which is very, very nice. I find that versatility very, very useful. Alright, cool. I like it. I mean, Celestila, I mean, I wouldn't even question it to be a tier 1, but like, that thing is just, it's just really a monster. Every set I've seen, I've seen Assault Vest, I've seen like, Autotomize, like you said, which can be really fast. It can be bulky as well. Its stats are like, so close together, so you can like, adjust what beast boost you actually want. It's crazy. Yeah. Alright, so, heading into tier 2, I actually think this was the exact same order you picked it in, but uh, who was your tier 2 pick, boy? Yeah. My tier 2 pick was Zygarde, which I actually picked first. Oh, rip. Well, dang, dude, you're going for that. When I saw this, I was like, geez, he's picking out that nice Dragon Steel Fairy Core. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Oh, uh, I just really like... Yeah, I'm so happy I got Zygarde. Alright, so, what, two, what about 50 one, I think it's, like, really good. It's tier Still, one. but tier 2, oh. I think it's, like, even more busted. Because really this one just hits anything. Like, there aren't many things that can beat it down. Because it just thousands arrows, everything. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure has, everything gets hit by it. Yeah, it has multiple ways to set up and like coil dragons. Um, that's really nice. It can be, it can even be bulky. Looking at its stats alone, like that 121 defense and 108 HP with things like coil and a glare, it can be very nice defensively too. All right, so hold on. So far. Hold on, <laughs> I need to check something real quick. But yeah, yeah, you're you make a really good point there. Uh, seeing that, uh, um, this is really crazy. But um, Zygarde, like, so why did you pick? Why did you prefer fifty percent over ten? Um, I just like the bulk. The if bulk. I'm being honest, the speed is like nice, but Zygarde ten percent is really, really weak. Like, I mean, uh, not weak, just like defensively weak. And I kind of wanted a like bulkier. Uh, core. Makes sense. It's just so busted. Yeah, it really like, is. I mean, I had it last season, like, but I mean, I don't even—I don't even think I used it that well. Ten percent can't really set up effectively compared to this thing because it just gets blown away by any hit, anyways. Where this thing can set up effectively. True. Oh, true. and this thing also gets—it also gets this extreme speed, which is very, very nice for priority. Yeah, so you can be bulky, but also still be pretty fast in that priority. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So a really, really good, really good first two picks in my opinion. Like that's just crazy. Like first two picks, you got two core. You got two of your one of your cores already packed up, and uh, they're both very threatening, very versatile. Yeah. But you can go right into your tier three pick, which is also oh. stupid and insane. I don't know why everyone everyone allowed this on your squad. But... Yeah, I don't really know either. I picked up Suicune in tier three, which is like. It's just nuts to think about that we allowed Suicune in tier 3. <laughs> I want, you should like, say that to Brent. Like, people fear Kurokun so much. Because Calm then, Mind Rest is, like, scary. Drop, yeah, and then we just drop it down to uh, tier 3. Yeah. Like, it's insane. It really is. Like, um, it also just... has... It also has, like, it has really good bulk on both sides. And, um... This thing can run like so many different bulky sets, and also helps out with my Zagard with the uh, ice weakness. True. You? Yeah. But it gets like, in OU, gets like um, Vancoon, which is like, I think it's sub scald, calm mind, and protect. It just gets like, it gets roar for setup, calm mind, I mean, roar for other setup, calm mind for your own setup. Rest talk is always nice. Uh, sub to dodge status. status. Uh, Scald for Burns, just very re reliable Pokemon always, I feel. Yeah, I mean, even though Rest is not really the most reliable, like, recovery, on Suicune, it's like a whole different story, especially with that Calm Mind boost and that natural, like, physical defense, which is crazy. And, and like, decent speed too. as well. Like, I know its move pool is not as great, but, like, it's really good at what it does. Yeah, just spamming Scald is really nice. So I'm assuming the thing in OU, like, I'm pretty sure everything in OU gets hit by Scald at this point. Yeah, basically. Wow, I haven't played OU in a long time. Yeah, and also with that, um, with that whole rest thing, later on in the draft, I'll be able to fix that up, I'm sure. Oh yeah, true, with the nice wish user or something like that. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh huh. Yup, so that's another bulky water. So he, a really good steel type and cell stealer. Really good dragon. And now he's already going on to this fire water grass core. This man's crazy, I swear. This man's crazy. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, I, I don't know. I, if you don't make playoffs, then I don't know who will. Because this is crazy. But yeah. next, we're going to go right into your second tier 3 pick being the next part of your core. Yeah, I'm drafting Arcanine also. So, right now I got kind of like a bulky offense, sort of. I'm really happy with this um, pick Arcanine. I absolutely love this spawn. It can be like very, very defensive with an will o uh, that's natural, pretty good HP, and defense. Well, defense isn't great, both Intimidate and will o -Wisp. Um, It can be offensive because True. it's pretty fast. It's 95 speed with that 110 attack and it also can be a Z move user. We have one Z move user so um I could run like Electrium Z if I want to this thing. Oh to take care of them uh them water water types. Later. Yeah. But it also gets like I said it gets wild charge, uh iron head for fairies, it gets like crunch and fire blast. And it also can be spe special even. I've seen um special arcanine. Yeah. I mean, if you don't avoid that, because uh, usually when you see physical, it usually runs flare blitz. I mean, if you don't run that recoil or special, is just a better, better option in that scenario. Uh -huh. but, dude, I I don't understand this man. Who allowed this man to draft these four mons? Like, yeah. I really like, like looking at the rest, I still don't understand. This is crazy. But <laughs> we'll get right into the next pick. Argonite also too gets reliable recovery in morning sun as well. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh -huh. Alright, so next we'll go into your tier 4 pick, tier four. which actually rounds out about your Firewater Grass Core, and who is that? Yeah, I'm very happy that I got this mod. It is Delmise. So, um, Fudge, man. I really like Delmise. This is, well, this was Zygarde's weekend Delmise with the mods I was like looking out for the draft because they all were in a tier below where I think they should be. Uh, Delmise is very good at what it does, and I've seen it even in tier 2. And seeing it in tier 4 is like really good because it gets like um, really nice utility stuff like rapid spin. It's yeah, it gives you. Worker, which basically makes it um, it's steel stab. So like stuff like anchor shot it hits even harder or gyro ball. Um, it doesn't get like too much coverage. It gets like, like I said, the, um, the three stabs in like shadow claw, power whip, anchor shot, gyro ball, uh, uh, earthquake, and then like the rapid spin. But that's about all you need every week with the yeah, assault Yeah, mask. but still, Delmise. Other than, but still, like after all you just said, Delmise is just great. It gives you that. It also it gives you that hazard removal option that you kind of needed. It gives you it gives you it rounds about your core and like having that extra stab is just really nice. And anchor shot alone is like really unique signature move. It's basically just like um, mean look or spirit shackle. Trapping. Yep. Absolutely. And kind of like even though it's, it's not a steel has type. Really good stats. Hmm. It has like 131 attack, which is like that's I think insane. that's similar. Isn't that like Mammoth Swine's attack? It's I mean, similar? I can I can look this up right now. I'm already on Showdown. But like Delmise is like you already said. Like, all right, so let's check this out. Delmise 131 and Mammo is 130. Yeah, so Delmise is even higher attack than Mammoth Swine. Yeah, and it, it has it's crazy. It, it's a lot slower, but I think it's bold to make up for it considering it has base 100 defense and 90 spin death with an assault vest that's going to be like really solid yeah and it's hp like even though it's hp 70 that's like still pretty decent yeah all right dang delmise dude this man's team is crazy all right we're gonna go right into your tier 5 which uh which is actually a pokemon i wasn't expecting but you know i mean i'm not gonna blame you but who was your tier 5 pick um this was like i think this was my last draft pick or one of my last, but I picked up Claydol, just because, um, again, I'm not, I didn't do the pick and, picks in order, and I need another rapid spinner. True. Um, Can't really, you don't, don't want to rely on Delmise. A, yeah, but, like, yeah, Delmise is really good, but in certain situations, I might want to bring it, so, which is always nice to have another option. Yeah, and it also gives you that, uh, that one, um, hazard, hazard option that you have so far on your team. Yeah. I mean, it does share it that did. weakness with Delmise in terms of Ghost and Dark, but uh, I'm pretty sure it like it'll come in handy in certain situations. Yeah, and this thing not only does it get on um, rap spin, it also gets like Stealth Rock, and it gets a plethora of moves. Really, I know it doesn't have great offenses to um, use them, 
So it gets like earthquake, earth power, uh, psychic, ice beam. Ice beam. It's a good what one. Else? Like rock slide. Like I said, like stealth rock. So it can be a hazard remover and setter. And it also is a um is a ground immunity. Which oh, I true. Have, uh, I have self steal for, but it's always nice to have multiple. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Oh my God, dude. This is crazy, and even though it's like weak to grass, Delmise does cover that along with Arcanine and Celesteela, so you are pretty good there. Oh, dang. Yeah. And even though you're weak to ice along with Zygarde, okay. you do have Arcanine, Suicune, and Celesteela, so you really have a good team in terms of synergy already. Yeah. But I guess we're going to head right into our last five picks, and I still don't understand why this man, why everyone let this I happen, but know. who was your Mega? I... I picked up Megalopony. This thing was still chilling there. I think it was like round like eight or nine, and it was still chilling there. So I was like, I definitely need to pick this thing up. This thing is just a complete monster. It just eats teams alive with just that dual stab with having Scrafty. I mean, not Scrafty, Scrappy. So it, <laughs> it can hit good sites. Like not many things want to switch into just its dual stabs with alone, and then it's like Ice Punch. Uh, it gets all um, elemental punches. Uh, it gets like healing wish, which is interesting. If I, I mean that, that, that could be some pretty out, cool honestly. tech. Yeah, fake out um, baton pass. It's like some nice uh, tech. And, and fake then, out um, last resort if you want to go that route. Ooh yeah, and then obviously it's stats like nothing screams out, especially it's, except for the attack and speed, which is like why it's really taking usually, because it just hits so hard so fast. You pretty much just gotta scarf something to outspeed it. And then if I can get a free switch in, then something's basically dead. Basically yeah. two shots. Yeah, this thing is like, really crazy. Check. That thing's just crazy. And like seeing that, looking at your team so far, uh, Megalopony like gives you like a really amazing wall breaker, physical wall breaker, that like it doesn't need any type of setup. It could just come in and just like hit something hard. Uh -huh. And seeing that ghost types aren't even uh, like an, an, um, an option against this Pokemon is crazy. And like you said, running, forcing to run a Scarf Mon that might uh, benefit your team in terms of taking that Mon down. and Or just plain out bring something bulky which you can prep for easily to eliminate yeah. those Lopini threats. Uh -huh. But dude, right, right, round 8 or 9, considering that we're allowing unreleased Megas, and this is a showdown league, like, this is crazy for Megalopony, one of the best Megas yeah. that was used in Gen 6. Oh my god, like... And it, it gets that auto speed now, so... Yeah, so you don't even need to run Protect, or, like, you don't even need to run Fake Out. I mean, you could still run yeah. Fake Out. But yeah, you just get that speed, like, on the dot, but, oh my god, I still don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm gonna question this man the whole entire recording, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> After Lopini, we're gonna go right into your last four free agents, and these are pretty terrifying. But uh, who did you pick up for your first? Uh, my first one was Zergatry. Oh, Jesus I'm, Christ! I'm very excited for this thing. Uh, it can be a potential Z user with stuff like Z Hypnosis, Z Electric Terrain, or just like the offensive moves like Gloom Doom, uh, Triple Tackle, or uh, Gigavolt, ha Gigavolt Havoc. Um, the main reason why I picked this thing up is because, like right now I have Megalopony as a physical, like, just offensive mod, and now I want to have another, like, special offensive mod that just hits hard. And Dude, this thing team. has, like, insane yeah, special that. attack. It's like 173 or something like that. Yeah, 173. Yeah. It's crazy. And compared, to, and with, um, if I want to have, like, z Hypnosis or Z-Electric Terrain with it to boost its speed, and then it also, not only does it get a great special attack, it gets Tail Glow. I know, so, so we finally have another Pokemon that gets yeah. Tail Glow. And on a Pokemon yeah, with so 173 just, special yeah. attack, you can literally run like no investments on this thing and still hit really hard. I know. It's yeah, it's crazy. I'm looking at Shodan right now. It has um, 381, just no investment. That's, at level 100, right? Yeah. Well, oh yeah, it's not level 50. Yeah, level 50. Wait, but yeah. still though, same thing. <laughs> same same uh -huh. concept. And it but can yeah. also be a great, um, like, uh, choice scarf, choice ban- uh, uh, choice, choice scarf, choice and, banded uh, choice power whip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean- It can be a great choice, Mon. Yeah, I mean, it gets some pretty cool tech, like, um, like, screens and, like, yeah, screens and, like, power whip, but it also gets Calm Mind as well. 
support Zerk Tree coming to you today. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you can run that physical choice banded brutal swing. But yeah, Zerk Tree, I mean, it doesn't get much compared to the other, like, um, Ultra Beasts. But Zerk Tree, like, with those, like, insane special attack alone, like, it doesn't really need that much. Yeah. Yeah, and since it's only weak to ground, you get covered by that by your other mons with Celesteela, um, Suicune, and then like with Claydol as well. That's crazy. But yep, we'll get right into the next free agent pick. So this one's I, I like like you said with the the recovery thing with the resting. Uh, this is where it kind of yeah. makes up for it. I fixed it up right. Yep. Um, I picked up Florges. Huh. Is a very solid, uh, especially defensive one known for, but can run physically defensive bulk and still tanks especially defensive hits because of that just purely special defensive uh, investment. Sure. Um, it's a very good cleric stuff like healing, heal bell, wish, um, yeah, just pretty much those Juma moves, but um, also can be like toxic. And I don't need to run wish every week. I can also run synthesis. Oh, true. It's still for self-healing. Um, yeah. I'm only pretty much going to be using Moonblast every week. Unless I want to bring, like, a Energy Ball, Moonblast, Psychic, uh, HP Fire offensive set. I mean, I've run offensive, and that actually puts Spec in a lot of work. Specs for just... maybe. I mean, uh, base one total special attack? That's nothing to, like... That's nothing to yeah, sleep on. Yeah, it's really good. I know a friend who runs, like, Specs for... Uh, Specs or AV for just every week. I mean... And it, it does pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it at all, but like, like you said, it gets Wish. I mean, like when you bring Wish, you're kind of forced to like bring Protect in some scenarios, but it still yeah. gets a decent amount of coverage. You can also, this is like another Calm Mind potential user, even though I haven't yeah. really seen as much anymore. Mm -hmm. It gets Toxic yeah, and good, Wish. Yep. One con. Yeah, true, 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 true. I mean, base 75 speed, pretty decent speed, actually. Yeah, for a wall, that's good speed there. It really is. So... We're gonna go right into the second to last pick that you chose, and uh, this is a very tricky one. Really tricky, tricky one. Yeah. Even though it did get kind of nerfed this generation in terms of oh. Wi Fi battles, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's still decent, though. It's still decent, but uh, go ahead and explain. I picked up um, Zorwork. So this you I love Zorwork. I love uh, Zorwork. I picked him up mostly because I really like the speed tier. Like, right now, I have. Uh, looking at my speed tiers, I have Megalopony, which is, like, really fast. And then I have Arcanine and, uh, what's it called? And Zygarde, which are 95. And then everything else is kind of, like, 85 and below. Pretty much, so, yeah. So, um, I want Zorwork because it gave me some immediate speed that's, like, just around base 100. Base 105, yeah. Um, I, think, I also anyway. still need a Dark type. Oh, yeah, true. I mean... So, Your um, team isn't really weak to Psychic at this point, but I mean, I guess Lopani could run into some like very bulky Psychic types where Zorro can actually come in clutch. Yeah. But yeah, Zorro is really tricky, 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 tricky. Yeah, Illusion is also a very nice. Uh, oh yeah. It can, like it can, it has momentum with U-turn. It can knock off items. Obviously, it can run like a nasty plot set. It's like Dark Pulse and uh, what's it called Sludge Bomb. True. Yeah, so, so it gets, uh, gets some and, good coverage. Ooh, it gets also. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Sludge, sludge Bomb this for those fairy really... types. Yeah, and its offenses are all around pretty good. So this thing is going to be like a, like, you don't expect it, but it's going to put in work. And actually, if I'm not, if I'm, if I'm correct, it gets extra sensory as well, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it does. So it actually yeah. takes care of, like, that other weakness in fighting. And oh. looking at your team so far, I think um, this actually gives you that knockoff user that you don't have, I think. Yeah. I don't think anyone else on your team gets uh -huh. it. Yeah, but yeah, no, Zork. It's... Actually, it's, considering that this is a showdown league and not Wi-Fi, I don't, I don't think it... I think it actually will do pretty well. Because I don't think... Yeah. It, does, it doesn't tell you the typing unless it's actually revealed. So yeah, that's a good advantage there. Oh, that's what they did in Wi-Fi? Huh? Yeah, they like when you... Like, tell it tells you, you the type. Of... Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like that's how it got, and it tells you if it's super effective or not. Oh yeah, man, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks, but it doesn't do that on showdown, thankfully. So it kind of still has some liability. Yeah. All right. So last but not that's least, I did not expect this Pokemon at all. A little bit of heat. A little bit of heat. I mean, I was like, all right, all right, all right. Last pick of the day, the uh, oh. Santa Monica Manaphy's chose. 
I picked up Rabombi. Rabombi. Oh so my god, I this need, cute fly. Like, honey gather. I need all my honey, honey <laughs> gather. So, um, yeah. But this thing is gonna be very nice. I like the speed here mostly. Uh, 124. That's really fast. Is good with Megalopony. Um, and I also, I also forgot to say that on Zorwark could also be a Z Captain. And this thing as well. Because looking at their, um, like his moveset, it gets pretty good. Uh, it gets like grass and bug and fairy, obviously. Um, it also gets psychic coverage. It gets, it's a quiver dancer, so that's nice. Yeah, so oh, there's a potential uh, sweeper. Yeah, and I also have more momentum now, so now I have like Volt Switch, the Tree, U Turn, uh, Zorwark, and Rabombi. I have Baton Pass, Megalopony. Baton Pass. So I have some momentum. And then I'm pretty sure Rabombi gets U Turn as well. Yeah, yeah, it does. So this thing can be like a nice, uh, like Choice Scarf or Choice Spec Caesar, similar to, uh, Zorwark and, uh, Zerka Tree. And, or it can be like a sweeper with like, uh, Clover Dance. Which is gonna be fun. It really will be. I mean, I, I, see this... I wouldn't doubt it to sweep something. Yeah, I don't see this thing coming like too often, but when it does, I think it's gonna uh, do pretty well if it has a good matchup. I mean, the potential's there. I mean, what was this thing like? Tier five? Yeah, that's mainly why I picked it up. Also, because it's normally a tier four, I believe. So tier five is kind of a steal. It really is. But yeah, that, that speed is just is crazy, and like once you get that cover dance up, it's really gonna start hitting hard. I mean, like you said, it gives you that nice initiative to gain momentum, possibly kind of threaten out other psychic types that threaten the megalopony, so that also contributes there as well. Put yeah. on the pressure. But yeah, that is that is the Santa Monica Manaphy is Frostfire's draft, and as you can see, we have the whole entire layout right here, and I just spoiled it again. I need to stop doing this. But who is your Z Move user? Um, my Z move user is Zerbatry. Yep, and like you as said, you with the Z what hypnosis. I, was about I kept talking about the Z hypnosis and the electric terrain. It's yeah. like so useful. That's, so that's kind of broken. <laughs> but yep, as you can see on your screen, we do have all the 11 picks by the Santa Monica Manaphys, and we'll get a quick review. He got the Celestia Zygarde. And with the floor just very scary fairy dragons there, fairy dragon steel core. We got the nice Suicune Arcanine. Uh, Delmise, Firewater, Grass Core. We got Claydol, Mega Lopany, which is busted, and uh, Zergatry, very powerful ledger type, along with Zorg and Rabombi to top it all off. But uh, hands off aside, we can go right back into the questions that we had uh, prior. But um, what do you, what are you most satisfied? What Pokemon or like what Pokemon are you like? Are you most satisfied with getting? Um, obviously the Mega Lopany around like eight or nine was very nice. Make um, a I really liked Suicune. I think that was like round four, round three. Um, but I really like that pick. And um Zergatry and Zygarde. I would say those are like my top mods I'm excited to use and satisfied with. Not bad, not bad. Now hand now going to the opposite side, are there any mods on your team that you kinda regret or you just not really satisfied with or you got something different? Um Kind of Claydol and kind of Rabombi. The, they were kind of like patch up the team. Like at the, at that point, I didn't really care like what I got. I just kind of wanted to pick some fun picks or some utility because I already had basically had all my useful mons. So um, kind of a little bit of them, but I don't see what I could really change. So I'm just gonna keep them for now. All right. So I kind of wrapped up the question of the day for the video. What could I change on my team to make it better? And you kind of already wrapped it up all there. But I think that's all we got for this draft analysis, man. Unless you have anything else to mention. No, I don't think so. Alright, so, yep. That was Frostfire, coach of the Santa Monica Manaphys. Like I said, as you see on the screen. You could see his whole entire draft. And, yeah, I wouldn't expect... I'm really expecting Frostfire to head to playoffs. This team is just insane. And uh, seeing his... Uh, knowing his battling skills, uh, I'm pretty sure he'll make it. But other than that... Uh, I think we'll wrap it up there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. If you, like and subscribe. Like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. And uh, I'll put Frostfire's Twitter and YouTube in the link in the description below. Links in the description. But other than that, we're gonna get the heck out of here. Frostfire, if you wanna say bye to the viewers. Bye guys. This has been <laughs> Mr. Ninja. What? <laughs> Last time I checked, you weren't Asian. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
We're getting out of here. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>